Saskatchewan's per capita ICU rates are nearly double that of Ontario, Alberta, and BC. In Regina, the rate is even higher. These figures and others were outlined at a weekly town hall with Saskatchewan doctors last night. One slide read, we have not seen the peak of this surge. And one medical health officer predicted that hospitalizations and deaths will continue to rise over the next month. Health Minister Paul Merriman says restrictions introduced on household gatherings and travel recommendations are still having the desired effect. We're comfortable right now that uh, these are having an impact because we haven't seen uh, the exponential numbers that were projected a few weeks ago. So they are stabilizing as a high number, as the Premier indicated. Uh, but we, we are stabilizing certainly in the Regina area and uh, the rest of the province is hopefully stabilizing very soon as well. One slide showed that even after Regina had restrictions introduced, ICU numbers remained high. And one medical health officer said that every layer of protection needed strengthening. When asked about the government's messages matching that of doctors, Paul Merriman insisted he is listening. We're absolutely listening to what the doctors, they're informing uh, my officials and I'm meeting with them on a regular basis to be able to find out what it is that we can do to continually adapt. The presentation also indicated that in the first three months of 2021, more people have been hospitalized than the entire first 10 months of the pandemic. And those in ICU are younger than ever before. NDP leader Ryan Miley was one of the doctors viewing the presentation. The overwhelming feeling was that this was the most upsetting and demoralizing of these town halls yet. And that really what we were hearing from the leadership of the SHA who were speaking was a cry from help. And it's been such a jarring discord between the clear, honest message coming from SHA leadership to doctors and the downright disinformation campaign that we're seeing from Scott Moe and Paul Merriman when it comes to the message they're trying to spin, the fantasy they're trying to spin about the reality we're facing today. Molly says the government needs to extend the restrictions that are in place in Regina to the rest of the province to slow the spread of the virus and lessen the impact on hospitals. Premier Scott Moe said that hospitalization numbers are too high when asked about this in question period today. And he said that people should continue to follow the public health measures and get a vaccination as soon as they are able. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.